I'm here with Christian. Hi, Christian. Hello, and everybody. Tell me what you do for AIFS. What I do for uh, AIFS? At the moment, in Italian, you would say tutto fare. I do everything. I'm usually the tour guide for all the tours that we have in Rome and in Italy because I'm an art historian. And actually, for the summer club program, I am working uh, also at the office just to help the students for all the kind of things they need every day. So. And what are some of the programs that you plan? What kind of things do the students do? Um, for example, we do tours around the city, specific about Renaissance or Baroque of ancient, ancient times. Or we plan, we bring them to the opera, we have the cooking classes, we, we organize pin and needle, pins and needles lessons, we bring them to concerts, we organize uh, dinners with Italian students so they can try to practice their, Engl their Italian and that is actually quite funny. And uh, we go around Italy, obviously we go to, to Venice, to Naples, Capri, Florence, Pisa and they, have, and they have a wonderful time. I hope we try our best. So now the students are going to do something kind of cool this afternoon, right, at Villa Borghese? Yes, yes, we're going uh, in Villa Borghese, this the most uh, famous and uh, important park of Rome. And um, we're going to have um, a tour with the Segway, this, this sort of uh, bike with two wheels, electric. And uh, I hope they will enjoy, I'll teach them how to drive it, and then I will be a sort of guide to show them the, this part that is actually also quite beautiful, I to admit. Now, what kind of things do you think the students um, uh, like to do when they get to Rome? Because you have the cooking classes, do they like to see things on their own? Do they like to spend time in, in like the pubs and the ristorantes and things around town? Yes, like, obviously, um, they like to go out. And what is nice of Rome is that actually in the centrum there are many chances to go out. You can find little bars, little clubs. It's, the centrum of Rome is very safe, so we are not worried for them. Uh, and uh, we, try also, we try also to teach them how to drink, because uh, mm -hmm. they are uh, uh, more than 21, so mm -hmm. they are allowed. We, for example, we organize every week uh, wine tasting, so that they don't drink just to get drunk, mm -hmm. but they drink a little bit and they try to understand how to drink and how to find out if, if um, um, a wine is good or bad, uh, from which region, and they love that too, also a lot, I have to admit. Now the area we're in, it's really central, and there's so much to do in this area, yes, you were telling it's true. me. It's true, it's true, it's true, this is like, we, we can say that it's the Renaissance deal, because it grew up from in 15th, 16th century, and that's very good, because they have mostly many uh, history of art classes, and they can uh, study at school, and they can get out and in five minutes reach the churches or the museums uh, and see the, the, the artworks, not only the museum, but in the places where they were made for, for example, the church. And mm -hmm. that is all another story. You have to write a script about Michelangelo, about Raffaello, you get out and in five minutes you go to see their works. Fantastic for them. And you were telling me that this is the area where actually the university started in Rome. How it's many true. years ago? In hundreds of years ago. Yes, like in the in the 15th century, they started to build a palace. It is La Sapienza, so the knowledge in English. And it's the, it was the University of Rome where the Pope was here, and where people used to come here to study, especially law and theology. And it was public, and it's nice because the closest school at the ancient University of Rome is actually our Richmond uh, University, two minutes from here. I hope that uh, all this knowledge helps them also to study much better. <laughs> now, if you were getting a chance to talk to an American student who is thinking of coming abroad, what would you say to them? I would, I would say to them, guys, come here, because Rome is a beautiful city, come here for your Italian, come here if you are interested in art because it's an open air museum and everywhere you go you can find out, have a look and it's a city of 2000 years of history, even more and so you can also try to understand the difference between one century and the other century that's something difficult for the Americans if you live in the US and this helps a lot and the weather is always fantastic <laughs> Italian people are friendly I tell you again it's a safe city Rome the safest capital of, it, of Europe and that is also very important for the parents yeah.
Now, <laughs> now, um, when we talk when we talk about students coming here and, and experiencing, what kind of expectations should they have? Because Rome is very different, and Italy is very different than the United States. The most important thing for them is to have an experience in Europe, to meet Americans from all different uh, uh, parts of the U.S. because they come from all different universities and also to meet a different population, different kind of people, Italian, that are friendly, so it helps a lot, so uh, that's it. Great, well thanks for visiting with us. It was a pleasure.